Okay, so my name is Ahima. Welcome to another episode of... I'll be right back. Okay, so in today's episode, we are going to be taking a look at Milk of Magnesia as an oil controlling primer. In my previous video, we did the powder before foundation method. And you guys saw how it compares to if I do my skin routine with just primer and just go ahead and do the whole routine. So in today's video, we are going to take a look at how Milk of Magnesia compares to, you know, my regular routine where I don't put anything on top of the primer and I just go ahead and put the foundation on top. Okay, so let's get into this video. But first, if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, I don't know what you're waiting for. Go ahead and subscribe down below so you don't miss any future up uploads from me. And also, just make sure you share this video with your friends and you thumbs up the video, you know. Let me know down below in the comments what else you want to see on the Hatch series. So before I ramble on, let's get into the video. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply the milk of magnesia to my face. I have the kind, I have the kind that has mint in it, so my face is gonna be smelling minty all day. Only for you guys. I don't want to go out and buy. I don't want to go out and buy a special one. So I hate milk of magnesia with my life. Like I cannot drink it. I know that it doesn't have a taste, but for some odd reason I can't swallow it. So I'm gonna make sure to concentrate it more on the parts that I get oily, which is all over my face. <laughs> If you haven't yet seen my last video, you should go ahead and watch it. I showed you guys how oily my face gets and my face gets really, really oily. Okay, like very oily. And I get very oily right here, so I'm gonna apply some over there too. Once it's on my face, I think the minty smell evaporates once it's on my face. I'm making sure to put some right here in the smile line area. Because that place gets oily too. And concentrate some on my nose. <laughs> I'm not breathing and I can't I cannot I cannot I just cannot with milk of magnesia I can't okay so I think this is a good enough layer I'm also gonna go over the milk of magnesia with the Colourpop all-star face primer okay and then so that I haven't ruined the integrity of the Milk of Magnesia layer, I'm gonna go ahead and apply one more. It dries pretty matte. Okay, and we'll be using the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless 375 Java. I'm using the Huda Beauty foundation brush. Oh, the face brush, it says buff and blend. Okay, so I'm going in with the Revolution Concealer, and this is the shade C16. So because it's like acting like it's almost done, I'm going to take off this little lip thing over here. That actually grants you more access to more product inside this thing, see? Because it grants you more access to more concealer. I'm using the Benign Nutmeg. And just in case you missed it in my previous video, we are back on with Sigma. So you can go ahead and use my code OHIMA to save money off your purchases. I do um, recommend that you get the F37 brush because that's the one that I use to set my, my concealed areas. And I really like how flexible it is. It moves very very easily i mean even after we were off with sigma i was still recommending it to you guys so it's something that i actually really do like oh 
okay guys as you can see the controlled side looks very radiant compared to the milk of magnesia side and this is with me just haven't finished my makeup so right off the bat i like the milk of magnesia finish compared to the control side okay so six hours later and this is what my face looks like it looks so much better it looks so much better than the control side i can see that i have a lot of oil on the control side and not as much oil on the milk of magnesia side and honestly i didn't want to take off my makeup so for milk of magnesia as oil control i will say that it does help tremendously however prolonged use of milk of magnesia makes your skin very very dry and flaky so i suggest that you only use milk of magnesia as a form of oil control for only special occasions that way you don't ruin your skin okay guys so that's the end of the second hacked video if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel make sure you subscribe down below so you don't miss any future uploads from me also just remember to hit the notification bell so you get notified every time i upload a video so thank you guys so much for watching this video i love you guys so much and i'll see you guys in my next one bye